Hopefully this works. <laughs> and we're going to try to stand together. Get your feet under you. You ready? Yeah. Go. Yes. We did it. We stood together. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I was really hoping that would work. And I had faith that with Mike, it would. And it did. Our, the way we are going to win this battle is to stand together. To stand together. So, um, Roman soldiers, when they, uh, some of you have seen these movies with Roman soldiers in it, and they have these shields. And what they do, these shields were designed to connect together and make a wall. Have you seen these movies with the Roman soldiers? They make a whole wall that goes in front of them. It actually covers them on top, and they move forward together as a unit. That's how we're going to win this battle, is by taking up our shields, connecting together, and standing together, and moving together as a force. That's how we're going to be successful. Um, and I have to believe that when Paul wrote about this, he was, he was a very intelligent person. He knew about the strategies of the Roman armies. I think he had that in his mind as he wrote about standing together, and he wrote about the shield of faith. So what does standing together look like? What does it mean to stand together? First of all, don't leave others behind and stay with the group. Don't leave others behind. When it comes to Satan, he uses the picking off the stragglers technique, right? So we've, we've all seen the Discovery Channel. We can picture it in our heads where the lion is chasing down the, the flock or the group of antelope, right? Or whatever. The, the lion is chasing this group. And what does the lion do? All he has to do is just keep chasing the group until the weak one falls behind. And now he's got his lunch. The weak one fell behind. That's Satan's technique. 1 Peter 5, 8 says, Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. He's chasing after us, looking for someone to devour. By the way, it's interesting what Peter's solution to the devil is. Verse 9, resist him, standing firm in the faith. Same thing Paul said. Stand firm. Now, in the animal kingdom, they don't care as animals if the weak one fell behind and got eaten, right? They don't care. They're not thinking about that. But as Christians, we need to be concerned when one of our weak ones falls behind or falls to the side. Agreed? Yes. We need to be concerned for our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And so we have to watch out for each other. And then, if you're the one thinking about leaving the group, don't. Don't leave the group. If you think you can hang in there as a Christian without having a solid group of other Christians as your support, it's not going to work. It's, it's not going to work. I've seen it time and time and time again. When people get disconnected from the body of Christ, bad things happen. It leads to them, their faith fizzling out. It just, it just happens like clockwork. And that's why when I start seeing people not be there on Sunday mornings, I get concerned. Because it's, it's the telltale signs that I've seen in, in 14 years of ministry. Not a good sign. They're on their way out. And so um, we need to stick together. How's that saying go? There's strength in numbers. numbers. We need to stick together. All the instructions to Christians assume that they will be together with other Christians. When you come together, 1 Corinthians 14, 26 tells to Christians, when you come together, use your gifts to build others up. Wait for one another before taking communion, 1 Corinthians eleven thirty three. Show hospitality to one another, 1 Peter 4, 9. Show hospitality. Think about that. That means you're having people who are not part of your family into your house, right? That's who you show hospitality to. Um, you know, there's this, this false mindset that, well, I can be a Christian and as long as I'm around the other Christians in my home, then I'm good to go. No, 1 Peter 4 says, show hospitality to one another. Bring, let, it, it assumes you're having other people into your house that are not your family, that you're welcoming and you're showing um, good hospitality to. Serve one another in love, Galatians 5.13. Encourage one another, Hebrews 10.25. Let the message about Christ in all its fullness 
Fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. Colossians 3, 16. Does it sound like we're supposed to gather together and be around other Christians according to these verses? Yes. Yeah. We, we need it. It's vital to our souls. It's vital to our survival. And so on your next steps, on your connect card, um, the first one says, recommit yourself to gathering with other Christians. Recommit yourself. Do whatever it takes. You know, if, if maybe you've been away from church for a long time, maybe you're watching this video and you're like, I haven't been to church in years, in decades. Would you give church a chance again? Would you give it a chance? Maybe your, your issue is not getting to bed early enough. You know, do whatever it takes. Get to bed earlier so that you can get up in the morning and be with God's people. Uh, maybe it's a work issue and you need to start praying, God, would you open up a way so that I can be with my church family on Sunday mornings? You know, tell your boss, say, listen, I can be there on Sundays, but I can, I like to go to church in the morning. Is it okay if I come in at 12? Can I be there at 12? You know, maybe your boss will work with you, but recommit yourself um, to gathering with other Christians. And then the next one says, call up two people you haven't seen in person or online. So if you're here in person and you know people usually, uh, you know, our people usually attend here in person and you haven't seen that person in two or three weeks, call that person up and say, hey, are you OK? If you're usually watching online and you haven't seen that other person online that usually joins online, contact them, call them up, say, hey, are you OK? I just want to check on you because I love you. Because I care about you. So some of you want to check that one. 